What is the best cold emailing tool in 2023? Is it Lemlist? Well, maybe if you're stuck in 2020 and you like paying egregious fees where you pay for every single user and every single domain you connect, or maybe it's Instantly. I've been using Instantly for a while. It's a pretty good tool, but I recently just started using another tool called Smartlead. So I'm gonna be talking in this video about Instantly versus Smartlead and covering the pros and cons. And then after you watch this video, you can make a decision based on my feedback as what tool that you wanna use moving forward. But before we get into the video at hand, if you don't already know who I am, my name's Shay Dethery and I'm the co-founder of acquisitiongrowthpartner.com and we help establish marketing agencies at an additional 60 to $120,000 per month within six to 12 months using our AI acquisition system. Let's start off with instantly, the pros, the good. One thing I really enjoy about the Instantly model is that it's a flat fee. So if I want to add 100 domains, doesn't matter if I want to add 1,000 domains, it's still going to be the same fee. Now, if I want to increase the sending volume, I might have to like pay a little bit more based on how many leads I can upload, but it's not going to tax me every time I want to add a new domain, which is something that I really enjoyed. Another thing I enjoyed is that you know the warm-up features are fairly decent and it's at a relatively cheap cost as well. So you can warm up your email accounts for two weeks if need be, if you don't have a tool like Superwave where you get things that are already warmed up. So the warm-up features was really good as well. Now, if you're doing cold email at scale the right way, then you also understand how important it is to have the data at hand, which is why I really enjoy the analytics section. You can use Google Sheets to track the data if you wanna go a lot more granular, but you can also get a lot of the data, most of the important stuff that you need just by going to the Instantly section and having a look at the reply rate, the positive reply rate, and the opportunities. Instead of having to geek out over a Google Sheet, you know, the analytics section within Instantly is fairly decent. Now, one of my most favorite things of all is the macros. So if, unless you're using the tool currently, you probably won't know what macros are, but they have this thing called the Unibox, which is where all the responses go to after you send out your outbound campaigns. So all the responses go into the Unibox, and instead of having to manually type every single response, you can have a bunch of macros in there, which are essentially quick replies, and you can put into it the first name column. So you're not having to type their name, you're not having to go into Gmail and then manually write out every one. You can essentially make a template of all your follow-ups, turn them into macros, and it's pretty much done within just a few clicks by going through the Unibox, clicking a few things, and then it automatically does your follow-ups for you. And then you can put a few reminders in place as well so you don't forget to do your follow-ups, which is a really important feature because if you run a lead gen agency or if you just run cold emails to actually get clients, you know that a ton of people end up responding to you and they say something like, oh yeah, I'm interested, yeah, I wanna book a call. And then you keep following up with them and they still don't book a call. So having this process in place where you have these macros or these quick replies just makes your job a lot easier to follow up and stay consistent with it. And it just decreases the amount of time that you need to be spending responding to people. But it is a high ROI activity. So if you do have the time to be able to do this and actually put in to do it properly, you're gonna get a really high return in terms of booked calls. And if you're good at closing, you'll sign a lot of clients as well. And the last thing I wanted to touch on for the pros was that they have genuinely good support. When I had a few issues originally when I actually started out with Instantly, there were a few teething issues that I was having and they were able to help me out because I was a noob at this point, didn't really know what to do and the support was fairly good. And something interesting to note is instantly reached out to me via cold email. So I knew that it was a, <laughs> that's why I trusted the platform to at least give it a crack. Cause so I was like, if these guys are as good at cold email as they are at building software, well then I'll just give it a crack. And I was with instantly for the longest time, but just recently I made the switch over to smart lead and I'll get into that in a little bit here. But first I want to cover the instantly cons. Now there aren't too many cons because instantly is honestly a great tool but there are some cons for my specific situation. You might not align with any of these and they might not resonate unless you run some sort of lead gen company that helps other companies with it. But the first con is that you need multiple workspaces if you do lead gen for other clients. Now, the reason for that is because if you have like say five or 10 lead gen clients all in the one workspace, well, your uni box is gonna start mixing replies from all the clients and you're gonna get very confused very quickly. So essentially what they try to push you towards is starting a new workspace. And for every new workspace that you have to start, 
you have to pay an extra cost. Now it is small when you compare it to something like Lemless, but it's just something I would nitpick at because I'm trying to give an honest and open review about the pros and cons from my perspective. Now the next con that I wanna to touch on is that there's no omni-channel features. Now what does that mean? It means that they only have cold email, they don't have any text messaging part of it, they don't have any like connecting on LinkedIn automations, they don't have any of that stuff, it's just a cold emailing tool and I get it, that's their angle, they're just trying to help with cold email, so maybe that's not their angle that they're trying to do, but if they did have omni-channel, it'd make me a lot stickier of a customer and make me sing their praises even louder. And the last con that I want to touch on, as I mentioned, there's not many, but the last con that I want to touch on is that there's no custom tag options. Now, what does that mean? When you go into the uni box, there's different tags of what type of lead it is. It's like, you know, meeting booked, meeting booked, not closed, meeting booked, like interested, not interested, out of office. And those are all preset by the software themselves. It'd be really cool if you go in and make some custom ones yourself just to make your tagging system a lot better. Uh, it's something small, but for someone like me who's doing a lot of emails every single day, that small thing would just make me enjoy the platform a lot more. It's something tiny, but that's just the last con I have for instantly. Smart lead pros. So the first pro is that they have omni-channel, which was my con for instantly. They have LinkedIn and they have cold email. So essentially you can have like a sequence say with like four emails in it and it can have like the first message being an email and then the follow up being a connection on LinkedIn and then you can also automate like the first name message within LinkedIn for the connection request, which is for me, someone who sends a lot of outreach, I just really enjoy that stuff. And it's gonna increase your results a lot because you're hitting them from multiple angles and when you reach out on a platform like LinkedIn, they can actually put a face to the name, whereas cold email, it's a little bit harder unless you're doing personalized video outreach. So yeah, they have omni-channel. That's my favorite thing about Smart Lead. Now you'll realize as I go through the rest of these Smart Lead pros is that a lot of the Smart Lead features was just literally the antidote to some of the cons I had when I was using the Instant Lead platform. Because the next Smart Lead pro is that you don't need multiple workspaces because they have a custom tagging system where you can assign a specific tag to a certain client. So say for example, for Acquisition Growth Partner, which is the name of our company, I can have AGP assigned to myself. And so I can go into all the campaigns or the master inbox, which is similar to the uni inbox from Instantly. And I can select a specific tag and then all the campaigns and stats within that specific tag will pop up. So all I have to do is just assign a specific tag to each and every client and I can be running all the client campaigns under one smart lead. So I don't need to pay for an extra workspace for every time I sign a new client on. And then another good thing is that their warm up is similar to you know, how instantly does it. But in my experience, the deliverability is a little bit better. But something cool is that when your deliverability starts to drop is that you get these warnings so that you're not continuing to use these email accounts that have compromised deliverability. Now this one's also a treat, especially for the clients. Like if you have a client that's constantly nagging you, being like, how's the campaigns going? How's this going? How's that going? If you're helping them do cold emails, something that's cool about Smart Lead is that you can give them a client dashboard so that they can see everything that's going on within lifetime. So they don't have to be constantly pestering you. They can just log in and check without, you know, having to go through you. So you can have their they can have their own custom dashboard without you having to give them their log like your specific login or anything like that. Now, when I used to use Lemlist, one of the favorite things that I liked having was the fact that you could review your leads before you sent it off. So say if you uploaded a list of 100, it would pretty much allow you to review them just to make sure that everything's correct, but instantly doesn't have that. But the cool thing is, is that Smart Lead has that. So once you upload the list, it'll give you a report of how many leads you uploaded. So let's say you upload a list of 100 and three in those out of those 100 had errors. It'll give you a report of how many you uploaded being 97. And then it'll say, it'll tell you to review them. And then you pretty much send them off after they review and then they'll be scheduled to send out. And that's like a really good one, especially when you're sending volume. Because say if you have a variable that's wrong and then it mucks up a hundreds 
of leads where you're just going to burn a bunch of leads. So that's a really useful tool that Smart Lead has that Lemlist had that I really used to love. Another thing that's pretty unique about the Smart Lead platform is that they have these two tools that's pretty much readability and spam checker. Now, why are those important? Because if you sound like a robot, well, it's probably not going to be well received when you send an email to a potential client. So having a readability checker is really important, especially if you don't know how to write properly or like you're not good at copywriting. I'm not sure if you know of the app called Hemingway app, but it's pretty much like that, but it's been integrated into their tool, which is really cool because I actually use Hemingway app myself. And then the spam checker, because you don't want to be spending all this time and energy putting it into your campaigns only for all your emails to go land in the spam instead of inbox. So they have a spam checker. It'll pretty much flag any specific words that may land you in the spam. You can either take the risk if you want to use the words really badly, or you can just play it safe so that you have the highest chance of actually delivering and landing in the inbox. And then the last one that's unique to smart lead is that just the overall user interface so the ui i just feel that the ui looks a lot better than instantly does that's something that's minute like it's the aesthetics it's not really important when it comes to getting results but that's just like a, a unique one that i wanted to add and smart lead also has some of the instantly pros which i'll touch on right now they're not unique to smart lead because smart lead and instantly both have them but they have the analytics section they can connect multiple domains without incurring the extra cost it's a flat fee, they have the quick replies. And then overall, if you compare them side by side, it's just the cheaper alternative. So if you had no biases and you would just look at this from a logical standpoint and compare the pros and cons of instantly versus smart lead, it'd just make logical sense for you to go ahead and use smart lead. Now, why is that? It's because it offers more for less. The value prop is that you're gonna be getting a lot more features and a lot better deliverability and you're gonna be paying less than what you're paying for instantly. So in my opinion, that's why it wins me over and I've just been enjoying and loving the platform a lot more than I did instantly. Nothing against instantly. This is not a video to crap on them because it's still a great tool, but when you compare them side by side, it just makes logical sense for you to go ahead and use Smart Lead. Now, if you look below this video, you're gonna see an affiliate link in the description to sign up to Smart Lead. And yes, if you do sign up through that link, I am gonna make some money. I honestly don't care whether you do or don't sign up through my link. I hope that you just watch this video and you understand what tool is better moving forward based on the pros and cons. You can actually just go ahead and search up Smart Lead through the internet and sign up through that way. The main thing is that you just understand that. But if you want help booking more calls and signing more clients, you can go ahead and click the other link that's in the description to book a call. Thank you for watching this video. I'll see you later.